Got it. <laughs> All right, so um, just to kind of, to begin with, can you introduce us, your name, and the band you play in, and I'm sure what you do for that band? Hey, I'm uh, Woody Platt. I'm the guitar player and lead singer for the Steve Canyon Rangers, and we're coming to you live from backstage in WOW Music Hall in Eugene, Oregon. So as far as uh, Betty and the Boy is concerned, how were you introduced to their band? Like, what was the first time you heard them? Um, I saw a video that they submitted um, for a band competition on the Bluegrass Cruise that happened this past February, and we got, we got like 40 submissions. And we were kind of wading through those those videos, and a lot of them are very similar, you know, five guys playing bluegrass music, and and Betty and the Boy came on, and it was just so different, um, her voice, and and the kind of the texture of her voice, uh, along with the instrumentation, which was kind of like this mini classical thing on one side, and a and mandolin and bass, more of a bluegrassy thing on the other side, and then her, she was sitting on a stool, and it was like a it looked like it was a dark theater, and it was just striking. And we were looking for uh, some diversity, and, and 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 that was it. And that's how I was taken by that. What set separates kind of Betty and Boy from other bands that you've heard, or yeah, well, it's just one of those common problems right now. Is where you probably can't really describe what what they play with any sort of typical genre. You, know, you can't say, oh, it's Americana or oh, it's bluegrass or you know, it's folk music. It's kind of a melting pot. I mean, when you look at it, it has really has classical influences, and and but really, it's 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 singer, songwriter kind of folk music with, with this, to me with this kind of unique ensemble. There's so much of the same out there. You know, people think they got to have a mandolin and a bass and just play bluegrass music, but it's just really different. It's it's not bluegrass. It doesn't strike me as bluegrass. It just strikes me as as good music, and that's kind of like everybody is kind of trying not to be stereotyped, really, and just kind of be what it is. But it's her voice. I mean, that to me, it's wonderful how they've surrounded her with that that unique band. But you know, she was standing up there all along, and it was spectacular.